Taji and Rich, Kyle, what do we need to know today? Okay, remember when the very controversial bathroom bill came out and there was a U.S. Department of Education lawyer that actually went to school districts nationwide and told them that students that are transgender should be able to use the bathroom of their gender identity, right? Mm -hmm. Well, there was one Virginia school who actually took that to court and one court said, no, the, the transgender boy at the school would be able to use the bathroom of his choice. So it went to a higher court, to a higher court. And yesterday, it went all the way up to the Supreme Court and for the first time, since this bathroom bill has come out, the Supreme Court made a ruling and actually blocked the lower court ruling that would have allowed that transgender boy to use the high school restroom. Now, this is a pretty big ruling because it's the first time that they've uh, actually had an opinion or actually had the choice to, to make on this. Um, and they said basically they're protecting the basic expectations of bodily privacy of the rest of the students in the school. So it's, it's a pretty big deal right there. So what happens? They have to make a, a different bathroom or... They have to use the bathroom from where they were born or what? What does it mean? Uh, at this point, he has to use, well, if it's a transgender boy, then he was born a female, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's, that's still hard to do. Then he has to use the girl's bathroom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, a new breed of snoopers are spying on you. And it's kind of creepy. And most people don't actually know that they're being spied on. So researchers have put out there to be aware that these snoopers are using everything from your iPhone's battery status level to the kinds of fonts that you have installed on the browsers on your phone. Now, they call these things trackers and they're finding out everything about you, what kind of person you are, what kind of food you eat, what kind of things you like. And they are targeting ads towards you and they are selling them to different people like like Google and Twitter and everything, so they can uh, basically sell you all kinds of things, which seems harmless, but they are literally snooping on you, which is kind of creepy. And because there's a total lack of transparency, these researchers are just trying to shine the light on these concerns. They say, if you are concerned about your privacy, you can use programs like Ghostery, Disconnect, and Ad Blockers to sort of cut down on the tracking, but they don't know how to stop it completely at this point. That is creepy. Yes. There's a great webpage too called uh, Start Page for for like search engines that you can go to. It's totally free and nobody can track anything that you search ever on the internet. Well, I wouldn't say ever because these hackers know what they're doing. Well, so. yeah, maybe not ever, so. but <laughs> for the most part. Yeah. I wouldn't advertise you. it like that. Like, big deal. So, so some weird company knows what I went and searched. A big deal. To you, that may not be a right. big deal, but to others, they're like, I don't want someone creeping on what I'm doing, uh, and your phone's basically listening to you at all times, which is kind of, I mean, in essence, it's kind of creepy. Uh, also, something that's been freaking a lot of people out is Zika virus. Now, the National Institute of Health has announced they are launching a clinical trial for an experimental Zika vaccine about a month earlier than scheduled because people are getting more and more freaked out about the Zika virus. Now, so far, there haven't been any effective vaccines or treatments for Zika. They'll take 80 healthy volunteers. No one will receive placebos. And, uh, you know, if this works, then ideally it'll be given to women and teens, childbearing age and their sexual partners because it can be transmitted through sex. So this could also be huge. Now, they say the end of the world is coming. Remember when they said it was like coming July 29th? Well, so many August times. is here. We're <laughs> so tired of were, waiting. They were wrong again, but they have announced that the end of the world is really coming this time. When? Halloween. Oh, October sure. 31st this year. Who's the they? World will end. I'm still getting dressed up. <laughs> I don't know. It's a group called like the end of times or something like that. Oh. They put out these YouTube videos and they, they freak some people out. But this time they've been wrong so many times. <laughs> Who cares? Like <laughs> Exactly. Like, Do they start October off the video 31st. like, I know we said it was the end of the world two weeks ago and a year ago and in 1989. They've said it really bad. <laughs> but it's really going to be on Halloween. Tiny little edit here. Anyways, that's what you need to know.